Noah Nybaron here to show you how to create your own Google Sheets cloud logging app. This is the this is a copy of what we currently provide. Um, we call this option one in our apps page. So I'm going to go to our app page and scroll down to around the middle where it shows um, option number two. Uh, this is an option to create your own Google Sheets based on our um, template and it suggests to click on this link which I'll do. This will take me to a Google Sheets template. As you can see it's um, view only. Um, I'm currently logged in uh, as my Noah Baron at Gmail account, which is not the account I use to create this uh, template. So I'm going to be doing this just like um, anyone else would. So the first thing that uh, I'm going to do is make a copy. And, and all these instructions are embedded in this sheet to make it easy to, to follow. So I'm going to first make a copy and I will, um, you can leave it as copy of or you could have something more descriptive um, for YouTube. So this is just for my personal, but you can call it whatever you want. Go ahead and let that copy. We can actually close the, um, the template window now that we have our own copy. So now we now I own this copy here. Um, however, the, the um, this app has not been uh, deployed. It's not active. It's not working yet. To do that, we now go to this tools menu and select script editor. And here we go. This will open another tab. Um, we don't want this to run in Chrome V8 right now because uh, it was not set up to do this and there could be things that will cause it not to work. So I'm not going to, to have it run in Chrome V8. Just click to dismiss if you see that message. Um, so the instructions continue here and I'm going to go through them uh, one at a time. So the first one here is go to publish menu and select deploy as web app. So publish menu, deploy as web app. Okay, so this box sort of covers the, um, the instructions. So you may want to print these out first before you start that. But um, since I already know this, I can just go ahead. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to leave everything the same, everything in the default except for at the end, I'm going to allow anyone, even anonymous, to access the app. So this means there's no uh, username or password or token needed um, for anyone to start a new sheet. So I'll hit deploy. Hit review permissions. So um, one of the requirements of this app is that you become now a developer, which means there's certain uh, responsibilities uh, and permissions needed um, to enable things such as sending emails, affecting your uh, Google Sheet, etc. So I'm going to go ahead, use my account. It'll tell me, it'll warn me this app isn't verified and uh, only proceed if you know and trust the developer. So um, in this case, they're talking about me. Um, but once you, uh, you go forward, you are then the developer. So uh, I can say that this is a safe um, app um, and doesn't cause any problems. Um, however, if you feel like you're unsure, you can create your own uh, Google account um, that's uh, completely anonymous and um, might give you an extra bit of safety if you think that this app may be unsafe in some way 
um, I'm going to go ahead and click um, to go ahead on, on allowing this app to run. Here you can see some of the permissions needed. And then I'll click on allow. And then I will get this web app URL. So this web app URL is what will go into the, uh, the app, the Tilt 2 app or the uh, Tilt Pie app. This, this URL here. So um, you can copy it here. I'm going to copy it here, but if you don't um, want to or, or um, you want a more convenient way to enter in that, this URL to copy and paste, you can cl close this uh, coding window and then um, there should be a tilt menu showing up here in, uh, in these menus. So because I'm not seeing it, I'm going to refresh the page and see if it uh, appears. There it is. I had to refresh the page because uh, the app runs, it triggers the app to run when you open it. And since it had already been opened, it needed that refresh to trigger the app to run. So now I have the tilt menu and I will, I can view the cloud URL, which is this long thing that we just, uh, I just copied before, um, or I can email it to myself. Um, which is convenient if you're trying to uh, copy and paste this into your Tilt 2 app uh, for iPhone or Android. So I'm going to go ahead and email it to myself. Okay, so now um, I just got an email um, uh, showing the cloud URL. So now I'm, I'm, I'm ready to put this into the Tilt 2 app. So um, I'm also going to clean up these um, instructions. I don't need these anymore. And I'll show you uh, some other details here. So the document ID for the template, this is um, this, this template here, and I'll, I'll click on it. This is a, this is the, this, this is the base template that every um, blog uses and starts with. So you can continue using this template or you can, uh, make your own. You can modify it, copy it, and make your own template uh, based on the, um, the template here. I'm not going to show you that in this, in this video, but this is, that is an option. So if you want something more custom, um, you can do it right here. I'm going to go back to the beers tab. The beers will show up here in this. This, this column will automatically add um, more beers as you ferment and these are the links to the actual pages so you'll have a list of the beers that you fermented and the data associated with it and a link um, in these columns okay we're um, now looking at a Android tablet uh, which we're going to uh, put our cloud our custom default cloud URL onto. Um, I have a tilt here, a, a pink tilt um, next to it, and uh, I got some other apps on the uh, phone, uh, the Gmail app and Sheets app. Uh, these work well with uh, the Tilt 2 app. So I just emailed myself the cloud URL, so I'm going to go open my Gmail account, and I'm going to copy the email I just received, the cloud URL in this email. So it may vary on um, different Androids and iPhones, but here I just hold down the, um, the link and I get this option to copy the link URL. So I just did that. Um, now I'm going to go back to the home screen, go back to the Tilt 2 app. As you can see here, um, I have a Tilt here floating in water. Looks like uh, it's tap water, so it looks like it got a few little bubbles in there. So it's, uh, there we go, get it, go 
one down to one. Okay, so I'll open the settings, the, the gear menu in the top left, and open the settings for the pink tilt. And here, um, about halfway down, you'll see a option to change the default cloud URL. So it needs to say that, change default cloud URL, and then it has an example of what it will look like. As you can see, the word script.google.com should be in the URL, which is what you'll see um, as I paste this in. Paste. Okay, and then after you paste this in, be sure to hit save. And you'll get a message saying that this cloud URL will be used for logging. Okay. Now, to start using it, you have to actually turn on logging. So I'm going to turn on dev both device logging and the default cloud URL. Okay. So it's now telling me, when I turn it on, it's telling me to enter my email address, start, start a new cloud URL by entering an email address as a comment. I actually don't need to do that. I just entered into this um, Gmail or email address um, box right here. Okay. Click save. Um, I'm going to call my VR test. Save. Okay. So I have the name of the beer, my Gmail address. Both of these are uh, turned on, device logging and default cloud URL. And I'm ready to start a new log. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Start new log. Okay. Giving me a message to allow 30 seconds to connect. I'll just wait for a response from uh, our cloud app. Okay, I just got a response and I got an email too, which is a cloud link, just like the regular uh, cloud app that's provided by Baron Brew. I'll go back to the main screen. Um, as you can see here, I have a link that will, um, when clicked on this, it'll take me to Google Sheets. So. Here, it'll ask me what I want to open it. I'll say Sheets, like always. And it'll take me to the Google Sheets app. It shows you my first data point. And so this is this is on the cloud right now and is accessible. Um, you can share this with anyone. Um, you also have an email uh, with a link to this um, in your inbox as well. So um, let's go back to the uh, tilt to app. Okay. Uh, and you'll see over here, this is your device um, log. So uh, we're all set. We just let this run now. Um, normally you would plug this in to the wall and uh, make sure that you have the screen turned on um, for always so it never turns off. Uh, so this just needs to sit next to your um, fermenter and log data uh, using your um, your own. Okay, just to finish up this demonstration, I'm back at my Tilt Cloud app, um, and I've uh, I can now see my test beer showing on the beers tab, and it shows me the name of the beer. This this number this comma and number after it is a serial number, so. Uh, this way you can have multiple tests and each one is unique. So test two, uh, this is essentially line two, um, uh, to get to the actual data from this, from this screen, you can simply click um, on this link here and it will take you to uh, um, the same, the same, this is the data page. So it's another way to, um, to access this page.